Today we're going to talk about activating a lockdown with an input. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go up to the top here and go to roles and policies. And if you see here, I have a couple different policies. The one we're going to talk about today is lockdown all doors, no access. So if I click on that, you'll see there's a couple different options here. And you'll notice that installed is not checked like it normally would be. And the reason is, is because we're going to activate that when we run our global action later on. So if you click here, you click on door, and then you'll get these options under the Mercury section. And you'll see I made a couple changes to lock no access for offline door mode, door mode, custom mode, and the custom schedule is 24 hours active. And I marked this as priority. So the next thing we're going to want to do is go to our physical access and global actions. And you'll see here right at the top, I have six different uh, global actions that will tie to uh, two global linkages, one to activate the lockdown and one to deactivate the lockdown. So the first three are to activate the lockdown. So we'll focus on those three first. So you'll see here, deactivate all badges. And the type for this one is going to be an access group install uninstall and the subtype here is we're uninstalling these access groups so that's basically every access group that i have in the system with the exception of this first responder all access badge or access group i'm sorry so if i go back to global actions i'm going to go to my activate first responders and this is where we'll actually activate that access group so if you see here it's access group install uninstall and the subtype it's going to be an install and I selected that first responder all access. And then the third one that we're gonna focus on for the lockdown turn on is the lock all doors. So this is a policy install uninstall. You notice that policy that we created before is right here. And the type here is install. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to global linkages now to show you the actual lockdown. Obviously as you're doing that, you're gonna hit save for all of those buttons. And we go to Lockdown Facility. You'll notice I have one created already. If you go to the first page of the linkage, it kind of gives you a breakdown of everything that's there. Pay attention to this points return that's going to be important later on. Uh, so we'll go to the devices, and I'm going to want this one to be activated with an input. So you notice I have a couple that are already in here. Um, but for our purposes, I'll just go ahead and show you what it would look like. So if you do an input, you have all your available inputs here, and then you could throw one over. I already have one here, so this particular input will trip my lockdown. So if I go to the events, you'll see here I have a local grant because I'm also using a card reader and a card swipe to trip my, my lockdown. But if you didn't want that, you just would throw that back over here and just use your input point in alarm. And then we're gonna to go to tokens. For this, we're not gonna need any tokens. This is just if you wanted a particular token to be able to unlock, and that's where that valid card swipe would come in. And then your actions, we're gonna put our one, two, three um, global actions right here. You notice I have a couple extra here that are turning on flashers. There's a notification that gets sent out via email and I have a, a separate door that I lock down during this procedure. But for our purposes, we're just gonna pay attention to the three that we created earlier. So then we're gonna go ahead and go back to global actions and now we're gonna work on the restore portion of the lockdown. So if you see here, I have activate all badges. Now we're gonna turn on all the badges that we turned off previously. Everything's back to normal now. So we're gonna go to access group, install, uninstall. The subtype will be an install. And we're gonna turn all these back on with the exception of the first responder access. And our next global action will actually be deactivating that first responder access. So if you see here, first responder, we're actually uninstalling that access group. So if I had left that there, it would just kind of be a conflict in the system. And then we're going to go to number six, which is going to restore all our doors to their prior condition. Um, so whatever they were set to before, whether they were on a schedule or whatever the case was, basically we're just going to remove that policy that we created before. So if you notice here, it's a policy install, uninstall, and the subtype is uninstall, and there's our policy right there. So now if I go to global linkage, once again, I'll tie everything together here, and this is where we're reversing the lockdown. So this is all the information here. So what I want to do is hit points return for this one. So basically what that'll do is when that input point goes back to normal, 
it knows to trigger this lockdown procedure. So if I go to my devices, once again, I'll go to input, and I already have an input here, but I would select my input, and it would be the same one as before, most likely. If you're using a dim different input, you can pick that right there. And we'll go to our events, and we're gonna not, we don't need to do anything because we have our points return already selected. I didn't hit save before, but once you hit save, that points return will stay selected. And we're not gonna need anything under our tokens because we're not activating anything for a token. And then if we go to our actions, we would select our next couple of global actions, which would be four, five, and six in our case. Uh, and once again, I do have a couple other options, but those are for my demo environment and not anything you need to pay attention to. And basically now you can trip that input and it'll trigger a lock lockdown. And as soon as you deselect that input and put it back to normal, it would restore everything back to how it was before.